So, why do you support Bradley Manning? I support the right to speak. I think the right to knowledge, the fact that he would give information that we all should have. We should know these things. There's all sorts of sneaking around in government a lot of times, in business, and the more that we know these things, the better we can have a democracy. Simple as that. So, uh, do you support Bradley Manning? You, know, you have to. Uh, I happen to be one of the 33 that was arrested at Quantico. Here, we, we, have a, uh, we have a U.S. citizen, member of the military, and he's being tortured. Unbelievable. We, we were believing that Obama was going to be the change. Obama's going after, uh, after whistleblowers. He's got the record now. So I don't understand how everybody is in supporting what's happening to Bradley Manning. Obviously, Bradley Manning, they wanted him to turn on Julian Assange. It was, it was very evident. And here's somebody with incredible courage. I don't know if he released documents of WikiLeaks. I don't know that. The Pentagon says he did. I don't know if that's true. I don't believe the Pentagon. So here's somebody that if he did it, this was a boon to all of us. We, as U.S. citizens, should have transparency in our government. We should know what's going on. We know our government does all kinds of stupid, sometimes criminal activity. One of the things that I'm working on a lot is the drone strikes. I cannot believe that this president is even making jokes about using predator drones to, to, to protect his daughters. When I heard that on National Public Radio, I couldn't believe he said this. So in regards to Bradley Manning, this guy has incredible strength and stamina to withstand all the time in prison, all the torture, and I'm gonna do everything I can if he's convicted to get him out of jail as soon as possible after that. I'm hoping that theoretically there'll be mitigating factors, because I know he's gonna be convicted, we all know that. Any sane person knows the military is gonna convict him for speaking the truth, but after he gets convicted, we have to get him released from jail as soon as possible. I appreciate you being here. Obama has personally defended the abusive treatment of the alleged Army whistleblower PFC Bradley Manning. In an apparent attempt to coerce Manning to give incriminating testimony on WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange and to set an example to other would-be leakers, Manning, who has not been convicted of a crime, was was kept in solitary confinement for 10 months. He was not allowed to exercise in a cell and was forced to be naked. For morning inspection, Manning's treatment prompted the UN to open an investigation into possible torture, received condemnation for human rights from hu human rights organizations, as well as um, the editorials of the New York Times, Los Angeles Times, and Wall Street Journal. In addition, March 2011 letter signed by over 300 leading experts on constitutional law questioned Obama's, quote, fundamental decency, quote, in handling the case. Before his trial even began, Manning has been kept in prison for over, well, almost two years. Bradley Manning will be starting, a, they will starting a, be starting his court martial on November 27th. Um, Um, I'm a veteran. I support Bradley Manning for um, the secrecy whistleblower on. Uh, I believe he exposed a lot of stuff that needed to be exposed, and that's pretty much why I support him. I was in the intelligence too, so I can understand where he's coming from in a way. So uh, I support Bradley Manning. I have since 2010. So. Why do you support Bradley Manning? Uh, I think that he sacrificed for us. I think he sacrificed for our future, uh, for a transparent, open democracy, for accountable government. Um, and he stood against war crimes, which is something that I've been long been against and uh, that I think should be prosecuted, you know. The people that he is alleged to have exposed uh, should, are the ones who should be on trial. I think. Um, 
I support Bradley Manning because I think it's heroic that somebody would do something um, against the illegal war that we're in and so that all of us know what our government's doing. to a representative from the campaign. That's all we want. I'm going to talk to you. Would you please okay. go back down the steps? Isn't this a democracy? So, so we're, we're, we're staying out of the rain. We're not, we're not doing anything wrong. Please go back down the steps. Do so we have, have to stay in, in the rain? To us that somebody's coming out to talk to you. If you tell us who's coming out to talk to us. We are people, citizens of this country, who have business with this political party and this president that represents this party, and we would like to dialogue with uh, representatives of this party today. There's nothing wrong with us doing that. I'm trying to get this letter back to uh, President Obama. Okay, I've asked you five times to step down. Um, so we're not going to step we down. Had, we okay. have legitimate okay. business okay. here today. You're not going to step down? We Why would we step down? Here here wrong. This is a public yes. space. We're all si everybody here is a citizen. We, we are peacefully assembling yes. on the steps of the Democratic National Committee. We have business with this organization. <laughs> And we would like to come inside and meet with people uh, regarding our concerns uh, for Bradley Manning, who is being held unlawfully. As far as I know, there's still a First Amendment in this country. I believe we have a right to speak with an official about a very serious matter. Yeah. This matter should be discussed during the campaign by both the Romney campaign and the Ron Paul campaign and the Obama campaign. Bradley Manning, why was somebody tortured, a private first class, why was this person tortured? Before charges were brought. Well, regardless whether there were any charges or anything, why was this, why was this citizen tortured? Right. Also, please get off the steps. to me, he's a hero. It's like 20, I'm on the steps, they will not leave. I'd like to talk to somebody. The gentleman just went in and not leave the front of my door. We want to go inside and talk to the representative. We're not going to lock in the rest of my building. Would you please step down? We're not going to lock in the rest of my building. We're not going to lock in the rest of my building. We're not going to lock in we're not standing on the side. We'll get out of the way. If anyone wants to go progress. out or out, we'll get out of the way. Don't worry. in progress. Please step down the steps. There's, now, there's room to get by. I'm very nice about this. Sir. Would you please step down the steps? There's room to get by. Would you please step down the steps, sir? We're not blocking the building. Would you please step down the steps, please? Now, don't get, don't get excited. Sir, would you please step down the steps, please? I just want to talk to someone. Sir, would you please step down the steps, please? Don't, well, don't touch him. I'm not touching him. Would you please step down the steps, please? I need to get down the steps. You block him out. You block him out. Wait. Okay, I got somebody on the way to get you down the steps. You trying to lose votes or gain votes here? We can do this. We can do this nicely. Yes, we can do it nicely. We can do it nicely. Just let us in the building. We're not gonna let you in. Why not? Why? Someone down who can make a the decision then. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You said somebody's coming to meet us. This gentleman here said you lied to us. Is somebody coming to meet with us or not? Tell us the truth, please. Respect us. We're respecting you. We have he said, what did I say you, you lied to us? He said, yeah, he said you're lying and nobody's coming to meet with us. So is somebody coming to meet with us? Someone will be down to meet you shortly. Would you please, would you you please step down my step, please? Then what is, what not is, allowed on the step, sir. That's all I'm telling you. The last time I repeat this. You are not allowed on my step. I bet you'll repeat it again. You are not allowed on my step, please. You are not allowed on my step. You are blocking the rest of my step. Nothing's being blocked. Nothing's being blocked. He blocked the rest of my step. How is it blocked? Nothing's being blocked. 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 Because we're here at the Democratic National Committee. We're trying to make this a campaign issue. Shut down my step, please. This is political not, speech. How can he ask us if we're not doing anything? We're trying to ask. It's like you're protesting on my step. We're not protesting. We're asking for a meeting. Let us hear. You have signs. Are you on my step blocking my door? You're not blocked. I'm trying to get inside to talk to you.
No, we want it. Have somebody outside the building fax it and then give us a receipt so that we know the President Obama. I send many letters to sure. President Obama that he never received or he never this answered. This is private property. Do you do this kind of business for private property? I'm talking to a U.S. Capitol Police officer. This is private tonight. property, sir. Would you please let yeah, us sit down there? Yeah, but it's a political party. It's about as public as you get. Is this the anti democratic party? Are you in place? Then we'll leave. This is a this is a mystery. Yeah, here's what we want so we want somebody inside to fax the money. Not very much to have. Okay. I'll, I'll check the gun. Yeah, okay, thank so you. We really want appreciate that very much. Thank you. One favor. Not block the steps from right We're not blocking anything. Block, right. No blocking. Anyone wants the internet, we'll let them in. Yeah. We're not gonna block anything. We're, we're not gonna block anything. Yeah. We're, we're not gonna block anything. Block anything. Block anything. That's reasonable. Right I, I, would, I would never we're drop a letter off. What's the big deal? So in other words, this is a public building. People go in and out all the time. You just someone just decided to keep us out because they don't like our message. Yeah. Isn't that like suppressing free speech? A political party this is. An election year. We want dialogue. Every police we want officer has taken dialogue an oath to uphold the Constitution. Yeah. And in the Constitution, there's a Bill of Rights. And there's a First Amendment to speak. We're just coming here to talk to, to fax a letter. We're not I'm causing any problem. We're not stopping anybody from coming. We, we want people We're not to blocking in. the door as no. you requested. It's just time fax a letter. We're being very Having reasonable. human contact with somebody inside the building, that's all. Why are you talking to the security people?